What's up guys, Rick Denham here, Holy Moly Outdoors. We're back out here at the river's bank because we're going to show you something fun on this Tech Tip Tuesday. So thank you so much for joining us. We're talking twitching jigs and how to set them properly. So you're not going to want to miss this one. Stay tuned. So like I said guys, we are talking twitch and jigs. This is such a fun time of the year. The coho are in the bee run standpoint. It's a great time to get some really big and fresh fish. We just had a lot of high water. You can see behind me, river's still pushing. Um, but these bee run fish are right behind the first A run that we have in the river. So with that being the case, it's a great time to prep yourselves and be ready for when these fish show up. So when we're talking, scenting twitching jigs right you know you got a full box of your twitchers all ready to go these are all of i would call a starting lineup for me on a daily basis i got my bendables leaderboard this thing's ready to go but what i like to do is have a couple different options now a couple of these i can't take as my own credit for thinking of them um, some of the guides have been doing this for a long time. I give this first one credit to Bob Kratzer out there. Um, guide, great guide out there on the coast. I saw him put this in one video, but I've also seen him do a couple blogs on this with Potsky Outdoors. And Potsky Bait has this stuff called krill powder, right? So it's 100% fine krill powder. And what they do you take just a normal baggie and this happens to be a Walmart snack uh, portion size right you can see it sitting there so it gives you an idea of exactly how much you're putting in there but what you can do is you open your brand new jar or jar of firepower right you put just a portion of this in the baggie. Don't have to do a lot. Seal the jar back up. Okay, so you got powder in there. Now you can find one of your jigs. This happens to be one of our Holy Blade Twitchers, but you can do any of your other stuff that you like. But you throw the jig into the powder. Now you can just shake this baby up. And what that does is that curl powder now will get all in your twitching jig. Now these jigs, when you do this, keep in mind, have to be dry. So this is one way you can set up a couple baggies, throw a handful of your jigs into it. When you're ready to fish them, Pull it out, boom, ready to rock and roll. Powder's on that, when it gets wet, it's obviously gonna start the scent disbursement, but that is a great way to bring some scent to a twitching jig. Second way, I think is really a awesome thing. You guys have seen this on the Holy Moly Outdoors channel for a while. These are the AN Sporting scent sticks. It's like a chapstick. You can take a jig, right? This is another one of our holy moly twitchers. Put this and just rub it all over the head. So the head of itself gets all of your scent. You don't get anything else on the fur. You don't have to worry about that gunking anything up, especially if you have marabou. So it works really well to keep things very clean and not messy while you're out on the water comes in a couple different flavors just a couple basics I got krill here um, a garlic and shrimp you could go an anise there's a few different ones there so that's a chapstick version that goes directly on the head um, the powder covered the whole thing and this one recently just got released this year for 2019 by Yakima bait and I really think that Yakima and wardens came out with something that while their intentions and purpose was for more of the rooster tail, 
it applies to all of our jig fishing guys so any kind of material you have has hackle marabou it has uh, rabbit fur stuff that typically you don't put scent on well a water soluble scent will work for that but how about a spray scent so they specifically designed this rooster tail spray scent to work with hackle fibers of the rooster tail right well this is the perfect stuff to spray on your twitching jigs guys so what i do is a simple little spray bottle a two ounce bottle with a head like that right a couple squirts on your jig and you're ready to fish apply it every you know 15 minutes or so right we got our twitching jig ready here all i would do take this off spray a couple squirts and i'm fishing so again just a really great way that you guys can get yourselves a few more bites while you're out in the water because that scent can make all the difference whether it's krill shrimp they actually even make a garlic plus a couple different things you can do so that's just a short video of some scent tricks for your twitching jigs this fall we got the bee run coho coming up like i said we got chum salmon on the way and by the way they love twitching jigs so hope this helps you guys out we'll catch you on the water give us a thumbs up give us a like subscribe to our channel there's so much more coming back we are ready to fish this fall thanks guys for watching tight lines and fish on